Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. Today we are speaking about dairy and how it can lead to height increase or general bone growth. Uh, so there was a myth we all heard growing up, right? That since milk has calcium and calcium contributes to strong healthy bones, then this would also make us taller and that's why we should drink milk. Okay, today that has been proven largely inaccurate, but it's partly true. We're just looking at the wrong path. Milk can in fact make us taller, but it's not attributed to calcium. Basically, when people don't get enough nutrition, especially the protein, it lowers the levels of growth-related hormone in their blood, the IGF-1. There was a study uh, that I will link below that gave people 30 grams of whey protein every day for two years, and it increased their IGF-1 levels by 8%. That's not a whole lot, um, but considering whey protein is from milk, and 30 grams is a relatively small amount, it is notable. Uh, another study found that women who drank more milk had higher levels of a specific form of IGF-1 in their blood. Um, for every three extra servings of milk they had each day, um, their levels of this hormone went up by about 18.6%. However, this increase was only seen in the specific form of IGF-1, not the total IGF-1 or another related protein. So. This is just a small uh, sample study, uh, but it suggests that drinking milk might specifically increase certain types of this growth hormone. This is just one study, but there are other ones uh, supporting this. Like I said, I'll link them all down below. It's definitely not confirmed proof uh, that milk can make us taller, but we can use that with other evidence and look at uh, things from other data around the world. And we find a lot of the time that some of the cultures with the biggest milk drinkers tend to be the tallest. Let's start with the present day. Netherlands, known for their uh, windmills and tulips, they also hold the record for the tallest people in the world. What is their secret? Well, one, uh, one factor of it could be their uh, high dairy consumption. It's a diet rich in cheese, milks, and other dairy products, um, which are great sources of nutrition, essential for growth, and like I said, it could lead to the increased type of IGF-1. And this is true for most of Northern Europe. These are all some of the top tallest countries in the world and they are on average the highest milk and, and dairy uh, eaters in the world. Of course, genetics play a role. I'm not saying that the height is all due to milk. However, if we travel to certain areas of uh, Africa, uh, we will see people like the Maasai tribes or the Dinka, some of the tallest people in the world as well. These are both peoples that uh, drink a lot of milk and eat a lot of beef. They are pastoralists. Compare them with their neighbors living in more urban places in Kenya and Sudan. They are not tall at all on average. They have the same exact genetics as the uh, Dinka or Maasai tribes, and some of them are just an hour drive away, uh, but they are milk-drinking pastoralists. They tower over the people of the more urban populations that aren't uh, drinking as much milk. But this isn't something um, just uh, relevant to the modern area. Moving back in history and looking at different times, we can visit the medieval uh, European world, during this time, of course, Northern Europeans, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, uh, had a lot more dairy farming than their southern counterparts in Europe. So, of course, these were the tallest people around then, too. We know this not just from reports of mainland Europe about the Vikings, but archaeological finds, too, showing the Scandinavians of the Middle Ages and before to be significantly taller than uh, others in Europe. I know what you're thinking. This could be genetics again, right? Uh, not really, because if we fast forward later on to the Industrial Revolution, the height of humans actually decreased significantly in Europe. This was due to bad nutrition and lifestyle, industrial things, working in factories all day, and a lot of the reason for the uh, uh, stunted growth is poor nutrition, but one thing that specifically happened in the Industrial Revolution was milk production was industrialized. It wasn't coming from your local farm anymore, but it came from the factories and they had to transport it long ways and many times it went bad and people got sick, they weren't getting it fresh and they were drinking a lot less uh, milk overall than in previous centuries. 
except for the rural communities, of course, uh, who lived closer to the cattle and the livestock. They would have gotten more milk and better nutrition, and they were uh, said to be taller. In the Americas, for example, 17 and 1800s, the Americans who had just settled uh, there were quite a bit taller than Europeans, um, and this was only separated by one or two generations of migration. Even the Native Americans, uh, certain tribes tended to be taller than Europeans at this time. So European during the Industrial Revolution were short and unhealthy. Fast forward to the last hundred years or so, when, you know, refrigeration and transport improved, average, average heights shot up again to an all-time high in history. Take the Netherlands, for example. Again, it was one of the shortest countries in Europe in the 17 to 1800s, and today they are the tallest country in the world. A big change that happened just over three or four generations. That is not just attributed to genetics and selective breeding. Nutrition has a big part of it. Of course, I'm not saying it's all due to milk. There are a few cultures in the world, uh, on, on the contrary, who do have tall people that don't really drink much milk at all, such as certain West African cultures. And there are places in the world where people actually do drink a decent amount of milk and they are still short, like certain parts of India or Mongolia. They tend to be on the shorter side of the average global population. All we can say is, uh, conclusive that from a few studies, milk increased certain types of IGF-1, which can possibly lead to increased growth and may help maximize height a little bit more than what you would normally grow out to be uh, with your genetics. But not all milk is equal, remember? Check out my video I did here about the best type of milk to drink. And uh, let us know in the comments, how tall did you guys get relative to your parents or siblings? Did you drink a lot of milk growing up or not so much? These studies aren't going to be conclusive. We need to do some of these things anecdotally ourselves um, because the you know, pharmaceutical companies are just not going to do big uh, studies on these things. We have to do some of this ourselves. So let us know down below in the comments, but that's all for today.